ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀਓ ਜਿਹ ਪ੍ਰਾਣੀ ਹਉ ਮੈ ਤਜੀ ਕਰਤਾ ਰਾਮ ਪਛਾਨ ਕਾਹੁ ਨਾਨਕ ਬਹੁ ਮੁਕਤ ਨਰ ਇਹ ਮਨ ਸਾਚੀ ਮਾਨ ਕਾਹੁ ਨਾਨਕ ਬਹੁ ਮੁਕਤ ਨਰ ਇਹ ਮਨ ਸਾਚੀ ਮਾਨ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਤਾਂ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਪਾਵਨ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਬਾਣੀ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਮਹੱਲਾ 9ਵਾਂ ਵੀ ਵੋਲ ਜਸ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਦ 19ਥ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਜੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਣੀ ਹਉ ਮੈ ਤਜੀ ਕਰਤਾ ਰਾਮ ਪਛਾਨ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਡ ਹਉ ਮੈ ਵੀ ਹੈਡ ਅਗੇਨ ਐਂਡ ਅਗੇਨ ਥਰੂ ਆਵਰ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਕਥਾ ਅਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਆਫ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਮਹੱਲਾ 9ਵਾਂ ਵੀ ਵੇਗਲੀ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨਡ ਵਾਟ ਹਉ ਮੈ ਇਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਅਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਜਸਟ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਕੁਇਕ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਵਾਟ ਥੀਸ ਟੂ ਪੰਕਤੀਆਂ ਥੀਸ ਟੂ ਲਾਈਨਸ ਮੀਨ ਲਿਟਰਲੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਜਿਹ ਪ੍ਰਾਣੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਣੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਮੋਰਟਲ ਸੋ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਵਰਡ ਪ੍ਰਾਨ ਪ੍ਰਾਨ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਬ੍ਰੈਥ ਸੋ ਪ੍ਰਾਣੀ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਈ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਰੈਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟਸ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਪਰਸਨ ਦੈਟ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬ੍ਰੈਥ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਆਫ ਥੈਮ ਦੈਟਸ ਕਾਲਡ ਅ ਮੋਰਟਲ ਜਿਹ ਪ੍ਰਾਣੀ ਹਉ ਮੈ ਤਜੀ ਦ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਇਫ ਅ ਪ੍ਰਾਣੀ ਇਫ ਦੈਟ ਮੋਰਟਲ ਹੀ ਫੋਰਸੇਕਸ ਹਿਸ ਹਉ ਮੈ ਹਿਸ ਈਗੋ ਜੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਣੀ ਹਉ ਮੈ ਤਜੀ ਤਜੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਟੂ ਫੋਰਸੇਕ ਜੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਣੀ ਹਉ ਮੈ ਤਜੀ ਕਰਤਾ ਰਾਮ ਪਛਾਨ then that being that person is able to recognize ram is the karta ram meaning another name for god and then karta meaning the doer they actually then realize that ram god himself is the doer is the karta karta ram pachan pachan means to recognize they are able to have this recognition kahu nanak vah mukt nar nar means person as well or literally translated to man and the saying kahu nanak vah mukt nar that person is then mukt is truly liberated and again we've gone through what it means to be liberated as well and then we can look into it into this in this context as well of these pangtiyan kahu nanak vah mukt nar and then guru tegh bahadur ji paach says eh man sachi man is saying oh my mind know this to be the, the absolute truth there's three questions now that come up so what is home and where has it come from and then how do we get rid of it or how do we eradicate it and to understand this then we'll go to another part of guru granth sahib ji paach is bani ve paach ji sai home eha jaat hai home karm kamahe so guru angad dev ji maharaj ji tell us that home eha jaat hai that this home this is what it's like so meaning it actually plays a role and it's got a purpose so if it plays a role in our existence and in our living and what is that purpose it says home eh jaat hai home karm kamahe it actually helps us to be able to do things in this life it helps us to do karm to do actions and remember sangat ji for us to survive in this life for us to actually exist for this body to remain for it to be nurtured as well we need something called home to be able to do things for this body so it plays so it serves a purpose so that means if it serves a purpose and it's very important for our very existence that means it's not something we've accumulated it means it's something that we've been given just like this body has given we've been given all these different organs to survive and our one of our main organs being our heart and then we've got many other different organs beat the kidneys beat the liver just in that way guru sahib ji saying that jin rat rachya purkh badate that one that has made us has established us and given us everything else jin rat rachya purkh badate purkh badate is another name for god nale and what else did he add to our making nale home pai he put this home inside of us because that's what actually gives us recognition to be able to do something for ourselves from that we're able to do some form of action for this body so paach is saying that nale home pai then guru sahib ji go on to explain to us that home a bandana fir fir joni pahe but it's that very home then when we don't understand it and it gets out of control and it gets a grip of us home a bandana it becomes the bondage 
it's something that traps us. Fir fir junni pahe, he makes us fir fir, meaning going round and round, junni in different life forms. And it, we get so stuck in it that we're not able to experience what it means to be liberated and free. We gotta understand it in this process. So there's Paramatma, there's Wahiguru Ji, there's God. And then from Paramatma, it's then comes the Atma. So Atma, an example to try and understand this, but remember no examples are perfect. So we've got the sun, so imagine the sun to be Paramatma, to be God. You've got the rays of the sun, and imagine the rays of the sun to be the Atma. So we know the rays of the sun carries the exact same qualities of the sun, there is no difference. The rays of the sun are a part of the sun. And then the reflection that comes from those rays, that is then what we call Jeev Atma. That is what we call then this existence, what is made up of our mind as well. So we've got then Man, Buddha, Chit, Ahankarana. So the different parts that the mind is made up of. So now imagine, so we are that reflection and that reflection but our true self is the Atma and what happens is to keep that reflection to, for that reflection to survive it's, some, it's been given something called Homme and that Homme then gives us the drive to keep alive and to do things to keep this body alive and to go out there to have that drive to go and work to put something even in our mouth to get out of bed and that is all comes from that to to understand that so how does buddhi how does intellect play a part so imagine intellect means that decision maker so if my intellect has now decided okay pick up that glass and me then going when i actually pick up the glass that is what is called homi that needs to pick that glass up so it means that it gives its it gives the Jeeva Atma, that reflection, some sort of identity to pick it up. So what happens is we get stuck in the home and we actually forget that our true self is the Atma, the soul. And I'm now thinking for that reflection to be real and that to be my real self. It was only a function to survive, but I've started to think I actually am that and forgot what I actually really am. So when I forget what I am, and then I only know about, I only know this existence, I only know this body now, that is made up of five elements. I only know now my mind, I only know my thoughts, I only know about my intellect, I only know my jit, my memory, and then, so I start to think, that is me. And I, I have no knowledge of actually the Atma of what I really am. And what starts happening then is, I want to grow this. I want to become bigger and better and then we start to grow layers of this Homme, what we call then I am and we call it the identity. Guru Sahib Ji saying that Homme ai bandana, fir fir junni pahe and then I start to do such actions then thinking this is actually me, now I'm trying to survive, now I'm trying to grow and get bigger but I was perfect, I was complete anyway but I don't know I'm that, it was the soul that I was. Then I start doing such actions that it keeps me in that circle of birth and death and because I'm thinking I am that and then when you when I'm thinking I am only body the body one day will come to an end then Pataji tell us that this is Homme Dirg Rog hai Daru Pi Isma Mahe Homme Dirg Dirg means chronic and which means a long long term disease and what happens is it's been now so many janams where I have forgotten what I am. And Guru's teaching and we serve in that way. Then those layers of home start to become washed away, Sangataji. The only way to do it is submitting ourselves to the Guru, giving ourselves to the Guru, following Guru's word. Nanak kahe sunho janho. It sanjam dukh jahe. They said through this way of earning the Guru's word, earning the Guru's teaching, in that way all the dukh, the suffering will go. The suffering is when I start to identify myself within false identity other than my Atma. I start to believe that I am that reflection. But this game was about 
about understanding what Homey was given for. It was just a function. Homey bujhe tandar sujhe. Only then I'm able to understand. Only then I'm able to break away from those shackles of thinking it's me and understanding and realizing the karta, the doer is someone else. I have no power over that. Jai prani home taji that we're able to forsake our ego as well. Jai prani home taji karta ram pachan. We're able to recognize the karta behind everything. And then Pataji say that kahu nanak vaho mukt nar. And then we can become liberated in that way as well by earning the Guru Shabad. E man saachi maan. So Vaheguru Ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru Ji ki fateh.